Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. An absolutely gorgeous Friday morning here at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Fifty five degrees, fifty five degrees. Expecting today's high to get up to oh around seventy three is the average high for southwest Florida today. Beautiful clear blue sky. A few little waves, little wave action. View up to the north. I am in area four, if you're familiar with the park. Just stepping off the boardwalk, just north of the concession stand in the parking lot. Still lots of shells on the beach from yesterday. Lots of shells on the beach from yesterday. Kind of on a, another mission here this morning. Like yesterday, I was on a mission to find a couple shells for the shell tree. Well, this morning, I'm on another mission to hang two more shells on the tree. I'd like to get that done first thing here this morning when I get up to our little prayer tree. But we've got one friend and one family that really needs our prayers. Our friend Daryl Johnson. Please keep him in your thoughts and prayers. His condo apparently caught on fire. I don't know when, early this morning, late yesterday evening. Daryl is in the hospital with burns. 5% burns on his body. Keep him in your thoughts and prayers. He says his condo is a total loss. He doesn't know the fate of his two kitties. He thinks they were lost in the fire. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So please keep Daryl in your thoughts and prayers. Daryl Johnson. Praying for you, buddy. I hope the kitties made it. Horrible fires are just horrible things to deal with. Just a horrible, horrible thing. To lose all your possessions and things you love. Oh. Then our friend, Emily... Gabrielson, Emily Powers, she got the virus, and not only did she get the virus, she's dealing with the virus now, fighting the virus, she said it's been horrible, 
her husband and two of her sons got it as well. So the powers, family needs our prayers to kick the virus. So please keep them all in your prayers. And I want to get up to our shell tree and hang a couple shells on our prayer tree up here. And then we'll go up, walk up to Wiggins Pass and see if there's any shells up there. See if there's any shells on the beach. And take a little stroll. on an absolutely gorgeous morning here in paradise. Water's still a little cloudy. Not smelling any red tide. I haven't seen any dead fish on the beach. And I see our friend Elsie walking up the beach towards me. I hear the ospreys behind me in the pine tree. an eye out here in the water see if any dolphins sneak up on me yesterday that dolphin just kind of snuck right up on me I was looking at the shells and lo and behold a dolphin popped up This morning, man, oh man, clear, clear blue sky. Look at that. Crystal clear blue sky surrounding me this morning. Beautiful little scallop shell down there on the beach. Right there. Yesterday, after I ended my live feed, when I was walking down the beach towards my car, I came across a little sea urchin. I shared a picture of that this morning. A little sea urchin was washed up on the beach, so I picked it up and took a picture of it and put it back in the water. I haven't seen many of those here in the years that I've been coming out to the beach. I've only seen a couple sea urchins. Kind of neat. Used to see them all the time when I was a kid growing up over on the east coast of Florida. They were very common. Mike and Maria on the hunt for shark's teeth. How's it going today? Good, man. Going to be sweating my butt off in a few minutes. <laughs> man, it just warms Beautiful up so today. fast. When I, I leave the house around 6, I got some things I got to do, and it's cool. And by the time I get here, another half hour, it's like beautiful. It's finally nice. A lot of too cold, Oh, yeah. You didn't have any luck yesterday? We caught fish. I mean, we caught snapper and stuff, but... No grouper. No grouper. So we, we, were, we left early in the morning. The seas weren't all that great. Uh -huh. It was two degrees. We only got about 15 miles out. 15? So we shut it down and fished there. But we caught, you know, lane snapper. Yeah, but you got uh, to catch, catch a ton of those lane snappers, no, don't you? Lane like snappers that big? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah nice. nice. Yeah. Size. And they, they make really good fillets. Yep. And we fillet them. Uh, so good enough for a couple good suppers. Good, you know? good. How does the water look like out there? Kind of musty, you know, kind of dirty. Kind of uh, like you know, here or worse? Uh, better. Than better here. than along the shore? Yeah. A lot of dolphins today. Really? A whole lot of dolphins. Up in the pass? Yeah. There were, uh, we saw probably about maybe five or six dolphins. Five or six dolphins yeah. already in the pass? And that's a good sign because they're eating the fish. Yeah. I saw one yesterday, but Roy said he saw a bunch of them sitting out here. That's great. Yep. I thought I saw something just pop up, but yeah. maybe not. It's one of those little roll waves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
Well, that's neat. Are, whole, I mean, are the they still? Did they? Like are football. they still up there, the Dolphins, or did they? Did they take off? I mean, I watched them for a while. One had a nice size fish. Oh wow! It so they're playing, playing with it, playing with their food. I thought you were like the Pied Piper. The Dolphins were going to follow you down here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh well. All right. Good luck. Good yeah. Take it easy. So. Yesterday, we saw a one-footed willow bird. Here's a little one-legged one hopping around. This one's just got one leg. Just hopping around on one leg. Amazing. He's been hopping down the beach with me. I don't think he's got another leg tucked up under there. I don't see one. Little one-legged willet bird. Saw a one-footed one at the pass yesterday that lives up there. Now this one's one-legged. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Sad, but interesting. I'm happy to see them surviving. That's a good thing. Just standing there, standing there staring at me. See, it's hopping on one leg, only one leg. Only one leg. Interesting. See it hop off. <laughs> oh, poor little guy or girl. Hop along, little hop along. Yeah, it's just got a. Looks like maybe a little stump I can see. See, I think that looks like a little stub of its leg there. Hmm. So sad. Let's get up to the prayer tree. Let's get up to the prayer tree and get some shells hung for our friends. I'm guessing they're waiting for the wind to die down here, the wind and waves to put the buoy back out here, the no vessel buoy. It's just designates the swimming area at the park and it's washed up on the beach they just put them out not too long ago they washed back up on the beach a few days ago some 
Mike said he saw five or six dolphins swimming around in the pass this morning. He said very active. They're one. He said one had a big fish it was playing with, tossing around. They actually play with their food, just like kids. They'll throw it up in the air and catch it. Feel sorry for the poor fish, but that's Mother Nature. It's all about survival. Don't want to put my shadow there. How are you doing today? Why are you notice there's been a lot of those on the beach lately? Yeah, they're like little angels. Yeah, they, there's been a lot of them on the one, beach. Right? Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, I guess that's a really the, nice one. I guess it's the red tide, right? Yeah, unfortunately. And the, the currents. The currents. What's that? Do you see that little bird down there with the one leg? Hopping yeah. around. <laughs> she was taking a picture of an angel wing shell that she'd picked up on the beach. We've been seeing a lot of those angel wings. Very prevalent here on the beach. Not prevalent, but a lot of them. If you remember back a few days ago, man, I picked up a pile of them by Wiggins Pass. Well, let me get over to the shell tree, the prayer tree, the shell tree, the prayer tree. Hopefully people are getting educated about these prayer trees and starting to realize that the shells aren't ornaments. They actually have meaning to people. Hopefully they're showing a little respect. I got something. Special I want to hang for our friend Daryl Johnson. Daryl, Daryl. Daryl, our friend Daryl. If you weren't listening earlier, Daryl's condo caught on fire last night, and according to his post on Facebook, it's a total loss. A total loss. He got burned, 5% of his body is burned. He's gonna be okay. He's getting some pain medication. He's in the hospital. We don't know about his kitties. He's worried about his kitties. He thinks his two kitties may have perished in the fire. I feel your pain. I feel your pain, Daryl. Sand dollar is for you. Prayers for Daryl, everybody, please. What a horrible, horrible loss. Thank God you're okay, my friend. Beautiful sand dollar for you there. We're thinking about you this morning. We are thinking about you. I hope the kitties are okay. Okay, find a... I see a nice little branch just above Daryl's sand dollar. Emily, this is going to be, this angel wing is going to be for the Powers family, Emily and her family. Emily is still battling the virus, COVID, as well as her husband and two of her sons. So prayers for Emily Powers and her family. That angel wing 
is for you, Emily. So there we go, the sand dollar and the angel wing for our friends. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers today and any, any of our other friends needing prayers. Anybody, please, if you need some prayers, now's a good time to put them in the comment section. If you, a family member, a friend, a pet, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let everybody know your prayer needs. So sad. COVID. Okay, let's move on. Amen, and let's move on. Ah, uh, we are up at the north end of the park, up in Area 5, heading up towards Wiggins Pass. I'll keep an eye open now for dolphins. Interesting shells on the beach or anything else of interest that I might see. In the meantime, just enjoy the view. The sound of the little waves breaking on shore. That beautiful blue sky. Hit that share button. Invite your friends to tag along with us. My favorite tree, full of shells.
I can't see the comments here. The darn glare is bad on the screen. But I do see a, quite a few of our friends are asking for prayers. I haven't seen any dolphins yet. It'd be nice to see some this morning. Taking the back way here. There's more to the park than a beach. <laughs> There's a little nature trail back here. Little pathway through paradise. Good morning. Yeah, I know. It caught me by surprise. Here we are. At the north end of the park at Wiggins Pass. Already got some shellers out here, some fishermen heading out. Good morning. It is beautiful out here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. It's, the contour of the land has changed a little bit up here. Looks a little different this morning. It's a broken piece of a little moon shell down there, broken one. A little Missing its little eyeball there. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot on the beach up here this morning. Seeing the usual suspects, a lot of cockle shells. A lot of cockle shells. A lot of slipper shells. Never a shortage of those darn slipper shells. I haven't seen a lot of fighting conks this morning. I've seen some, but not a lot of them. I love the little ones. I love the little fighting conch shells. I think those are so cool. No problem finding slipper shells. <laughs> they are all over the place. The little slippers.
beautiful blue sky. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a friend. It's like a piece of a moon shell down here. Let's see what kind of shape it's in. It's upside down. Upside down. You see it? All right there. Yeah, it's missing a little bit of its bottom there. Well, there's a big slipper shell down there. A rather large one. Look at that. That's a pretty nice sized slipper. I don't see any dolphins. Our friend Mike, he said he saw five or six of them. He didn't, couldn't count quite how many he saw up here. He said it looked like five or six up here early this morning, splashing around. Is it gone? There's been some beautiful cockle shells on the beach. Beautiful, beautiful cockles. Some nice size ones too. That's about a three and a half star there out of five. A little pen shell down there. A little pen with a bunch of junk inside it. <laughs> a little pen shell. interesting it's like there's no conch shells and then all of a sudden I come to a spot and there's a little pile of conch shells some one with a nice little hole in its back one that would be good for a prayer tree There's a lot of shells out in the water here, right along the ridge line where the little waves are kind of forming here. You see them just curl up at that little ridge line. I think there's some good shelling in the water there. If somebody wants to get wet. Look how the conks are just piled up. See them down here? See the little conch shells? One, two, three, four of them down there. I 
There's a nice boat heading out the pass. Nice boat heading out there. Now look up to the north, up to Fort Myers Beach. Nice clear morning. Good morning, Kimberly. Strolling along the side of the pass, checking the ground for some interesting shells. Haven't found any of my favorite little moon shells yet. No new moon shells to add to my collection. Nor have I seen any little Murex shells, but I'm piece of a moon. And I see a piece of a little murex sticking out. See it right down in there? See it? A little murex. How about that? It was hiding. Little apple murex shell. That's why you really got to get down and look. It's amazing when you stop and start looking. There actually are a lot of little shells down here when you look, when you stoop, stoop over, if you can stoop over. Look at that. Look at that with all the barnacles. Look at that little shell with bar barnacles all over the top. That's neat looking. I mean, the beach is just full of little treasures. Everybody's out looking for the big one. Looking for the big one. But I'll settle for those little treasures. Keeping track of them at home is the hard part. <laughs> Finding them is the easy part. Another one of those beautiful little cockle shells. Oh, any action out here in the water? Nope. Not seeing anything out there. It is beautiful though. Man, is it beautiful. Little piece of worm rock down here. Little piece of worm rock on the beach. All the little worm tubes. Very peaceful morning today. Again, this morning very peaceful. Peaceful and beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, I am just surrounded, surrounded by blue sky. 
360 degrees. Nothing but beautiful crystal clear blue sky. Another nice boat heading out here. Speeding out the pass, breaking the law. Part of the problem why we have such a lot so much erosion up here at the point the boat's not adhering to the speed limits they're just too good for the rules Here's where there is a carpet of seashells. I mean, literally a carpet of shells here. I don't know how you'd find anything in here. <laughs> this is just amazing. Look at all those shells. Like I said, I don't know how you find anything down here. There's just so many of them. Just looks like a big white blob to me. <laughs> Another little boat going out. Little boat, but it's bigger than my boat because I don't have a boat. <laughs> I just saw a little jewel box down here, but the waves came in and pushed it away somewhere. I saw a little spiny jewel box shell.
Looked like it might have been interesting. Who knows where it got pushed aside to now. Oh well. Should have picked it up when I first saw it. Well, starting to see some activity here in the pass. That's nice. Starting to see some action here. The boat's going out. And a piece of a moon shell down here. Yeah, I saw it down here. Now I lost it. There's just so much down here. It's... Oh no, it's a slipper. It looked like a moon. The way the light was hitting it, I thought it was a moon shell. Man, there are so many shells here. I don't know where you'd even start. You definitely need a rake. Something to spread them all out. Quite a few people here on squatted down sifting through all the shells yesterday. They'll probably be back today. I can hear them crunching under my feet. Just amazing. Just amazing. Wiggins Pass, up in North Naples, Florida, if you're just tuning in. On a pristine Friday morning. Happy Friday, everyone, if that means anything to you. Some people, it's just another day. People have lost track of days of the week. Nothing special anymore, no special days. Every day is the same when you're quarantined. I see a little moon shell down in the water here. A little baby moon shell. See, just keep your eyes open and you're bound to find something out here. Might not be the biggest or the best, but you'll find something of interest. Boy, considering the tide is going out, the water doesn't look too bad. Usually it's really brown when it's going out. It does not look bad this morning. This is the very north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. <laughs> the point. I call it the point. 
point here. That water is pretty flat. Pretty flat in the river here. Oh, another boat coming out. One heading in, one boat heading in, one just headed out earlier, coming back in. We're on the left there. Nice one coming out, coming out here with a big flying bridge on it. Looks like a pontoon boat coming out behind it. It is a glorious morning. For sure. Noisy old airplane flying overhead. We saw this guy heading out. Now he's heading back in. Might be a new boat they're just exercising. Nice. Very nice. Here comes that other fishing boat with that big flying bridge heading out. Look at that. The captain up top. Beautiful, deep royal blue color boat, beautiful. Heading out into the Gulf for a morning or a day of fishing. Hey, I'm gonna start another live feed up, so stick around. I will be back shortly. Make sure you're set up to get a notification when I go live again. I'll be back in 15 minutes or so. I usually like taking a couple photos while I'm up here. See you later. Thanks for being a friend. Thanks for being a financial supporter of Southwest Florida Television. 
I couldn't be out here without your friendship and financial support. Both, both are important. Well, tally ho, tally ho. Stay safe, stay healthy. Remember our motto, bringing people together one beach walk at a time. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.